Hey guys, it's Coach McBean. I'm going to be your tour guide today around Millsaps College. Let's go. Hey everyone, we are in the Leggett. Um, there's a couple things that happen in this building. The main one is food. The cafeteria is in here. Um, I eat lunch here about every day, which is great. No complaints. Uh, we also have a really good study area to my right. Also a really nice coffee house as well. Uh, downstairs is the bookstore along with the post office is where you'll be getting your care package. All right, we are now at the bowl. Uh, mostly what I see up and around campus is the kids just hang around in between classes uh, with the coffee or chit chat with friends is, is pretty much what goes on uh, during the school year. Now, there is a really cool ceremony that happens. It's called fourth night. Uh, on your fourth night here at Millsaps, um, you'll go through a ceremony and you'll, you'll write something to your future self and they hold on to that. You'll get it back your senior year uh, to kind of get you to see how much you've grown over the next four years here at Millsap. Uh, but that ceremony takes place right here in the bowl behind me. Um, the kids line up all around and it's very beautiful uh, to see. It's a great time. All right, we are now in the AC Complex building here on campus. The classes that will be uh, done in here are your English classes and uh, anything musical as well. Also, uh, for you freshmen, uh, mostly, your study hall is gonna be in this building as well. It's gonna be in the hall to my uh, right here and we'll take it down there just a second. And again, with the study hall, it's two days a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, seven to nine. It is required, it's mandatory uh, anyway. But uh, everything is in there for you guys to succeed. Every kind of tutor, math, science, a writing center is in there for you guys as well. And um, that is honestly the key uh, to your academic success. We are at, you guessed it, Gandhi. Uh, this thing was sculpted by an alumni uh, that, that went here to uh, Millsaps. Now, um, if you notice, the toes and his knuckles are kind of worn down. That's because when kids have big tests, they come around and rub his toes or give him some knucks for, uh, for good luck. Now, if the Saints uh, football team that they win, the next morning he'll have like a Saints jersey or something like that or some beads around him. It's actually really cool. Uh, to see that in the morning, but he's kind of a good luck charm for us. Sullivan Hall is right behind me. The uh, only classes that will be up there for you are your math classes. Uh, also, if you are going to be a geology major, or you have a geology class as well. Uh, that will also be in Sullivan at the bottom of this uh, building. at the L School of Management on campus. For all your business majors, this is where almost all of your classes are gonna be. Again, we have everything business that you can think of. And if you wanna get your MBA, you can actually obtain your master's, um, your fifth year year on campus, which is awesome. We are in one of the classrooms here in the business school. Uh, this is a typical class size all around campus. Uh, you're probably gonna have 12 to 14 kids per class. Um, the biggest class you're going to have on campus again is going to be probably about 30 and that's going to be your all freshman class that everybody has to take. But generally this is going to be um, a normal sized classroom for you guys.
We are now at Eudora Welty. She is a literary writer that is uh, very famous here in Mississippi. Her house is actually a museum as well, uh, right around the corner, which is cool if you ever get the chance to stop in and check that out. This was also done by the same alumni that uh, did the Gandhi sculpt sculpture as well. And also uh, behind me is uh, Mr. and Mrs. Millsaps. Now, uh, depending on how you view it, it could be romantic, could be creepy, I don't know. But, uh, you know, they say that they didn't have any kids, so uh, everybody on campus is their child, is, uh, is, is what they say about this. So I think it's romantic, but uh, I'll let you guys decide on that one. We are now in the Christian Center. Uh, Yates Chapel behind me is very beautiful inside. I'll give you a glimpse of that. This was recently uh, done within the last year or so. It opened up in August. Um, I am floored with, with what it looks like. It's truly beautiful in here. And uh, again, I'll give you a shot of the chapel. We are now at the main writing center here on campus. There are a total of three on campus. One in the library on the other side. Uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. This is the main one, and then there's one in your study hall every Monday and Wednesday. But the main one's right behind me here if you ever need to get help on your papers. Also, there's Rubens uh, as well. So when the cafeteria closes late at night, you're still hungry, you can go right here to Rubens and get some really good food. I hear the nachos and the wings are the best things to get at this place. We are now at uh, for um, co-ed door and uh, all freshmen as well. The ones behind are Suzanne and Charles. Those are the newer dorms uh, on campus. They are style, uh, which is very nice. You can get into those uh, starting your sophomore year. That's based off, you know, your GPA and grades and that kind of stuff. Uh, your roommate as well, who you have freshman year, or her uh, GPA as well. So uh, these dorms are very nice inside, and uh, you can't go wrong getting in any one. This is New South behind me. This is one of the co-ed dorms here on campus. Also where the safety office is as well. If you lose your ID, you can get a new one here. Um, if you need to get a parking sticker, uh, that happens as well. This is Ezel. Uh, this is where I put all my freshman guys. Uh, there's three floors. I do pair you up with a teammate, which is nice. And um, this is where you'll be right behind Ezel. So all you guys are interested in possibly rushing your first student and joining fraternity, this is what I want. football field here at Millsaps. Uh, these games are a lot of fun. I go to quite a few uh, myself when we have uh, a home game, which is not many, but uh, at least I, I get to a couple. Um, there are two different sides here. The one behind me, all the fraternities, fraternities and sororities come out and do their thing. 
And then behind me, I call it kitty land slash parent land. Bouncy houses, face paintings for the kids, uh, for the pets, if it's your thing. There's a garden that uh, comes out every home football game. Each one will be different. And uh, these, these games are a lot of fun. We are at the Hangar Dome now. This is where the men's and women's basketball games are played as well as volleyball. These games are also a lot of fun to get to as well. Uh, we as a team will come to as many as possible when we're not traveling, which is few and far between, but at least we get to come here and support the uh, other teams here on campus. So again, rock it. We are now in the athletic training room. We uh, don't really get hurt that often as golfers, thankfully. But uh, if for some reason you pull a muscle or you got a back spasm or something like that, this is where it's going to happen. Uh, I tell everybody to get rubbed out, their muscles rubbed out before we leave and when we come back as well. Uh, get a heating, heating pad on your back, that helps a lot as well. So if you need any kind of treatment, it happens right here. This is the fitness center here on campus. It's uh, two floor. The top floor is for anybody that wants to work out on campus. And the bottom floor is for athletes only, which is where you guys will work out twice a week here, uh, Mondays and Fridays. In the, um, in the fall, it's more toward the afternoon, 4.30. Spring, we get about a 6, 6.30 workout time. Again, that happens in here. Down below, nobody's allowed down there but us, uh, which is great. At Baco and Sanders Hall. Behind me uh, is where the women's dorm is. Uh, Baco is traditionally where I house all my freshman women. So, ladies, this is where you'll stay. We are in Olin Hall right now. This is where if you're going to be a biology major, a chemistry major, or any science major, really health and sciences as well, uh, this is where you're probably going to be for almost all of your classes in here. Um, again, the thing I stress the most is small class sizes and the relationships that you're going to build with your professors are valuable and they all happen right in these buildings. Oh, at Sorority Row for all of you that were thinking about possibly joining a sorority. We are at the track and field complex. As you can see, the track is purple. What a beautiful color. You'll look good wearing it too. We are at Winnie Field uh, for the baseball stand. And these games are also a lot of fun as well.
is the skybox. A few things happen here. I have my team meetings here, one in the beginning uh, in August, and then we have one when we come back from Christmas at some point. I also do a meeting with the parents uh, during move-in day and kind of give them a general idea of what uh, what to expect from the program, which is which is a lot of fun for me. And uh, you'll also have a couple mandatory NCAA seminars in here as well. Well, that's our tour of Millsaps College. I hope everybody enjoyed it. I know I did. This is uh, truly a unique and special place. For me, it's the best place I've ever worked at so far um, from what everybody offers here and just the campus itself. It's beautiful. We, uh, we look forward to you joining the major family.